what's up? What's up, man? On. I'm on. We on, bro. Okay, okay. Here Let's we are. Out of the way. Yeah. Welcome to another episode, guys, of the End you know, of the World Podcast. I'm here with Nate Dog, bro. What's up? Yo, yo. What's happening, dude? That's good. How you been? Been all right. Just chilling. Trying chilling, to bro. Handle business. <laughs> That's what's up, dude. <laughs> I'm like, I'm feeling that because, like, business is all we have right now, you know? You mm-hmm. got to take care of business or else you, I don't know, I just feel like life gets tough if you don't take care of business, dude. Well, Everything yeah. just piles on. Always. And it shits on you at the end of the day. Whenever you're not handling your shit, I mean... It just yeah. keeps piling up. You got to keep doing it. Deep doing it, bro. That's that's good to hear, bro. You're doing business, you know? Because yeah. I, know, I know a lot of people, like, they're just doing nothing. Yeah. yeah. So it's good. they taking care of business, bro. Focus on you. Mm-hmm. Hanging out, making memories. I think that's all life is all about, Oh, bro. yeah, man. Making memories for sure. I've been fucking yeah. doing all types of shit over the <laughs> summer. And that's even what's up. this semester, too. Like, yeah, I've dude. Just, yeah. I, I'm usually, like, Try to enjoy the moment, mm-hmm. but like the past two weeks, bro, I've been thinking more about it. You know, mm-hmm. I've been thinking like, because a good friend of mine, dude, from school passed away, dude, like two weeks ago, and uh, my buddy, his name's Beezer, one love Beezer, and rip to him, R. uh, R. I. P. Dude, God, you know, he was a good friend. We weren't best friends. We didn't hang out all the time, but when we do, dude, we always like make each other laugh, dude. That's fucking Yeah, dude. That's sad, awesome. sad shit, bro. It's sad, it's sad when it hits home, you know? Like, in your community. Yeah. Like, when yeah. something happens, it's just, like... You don't really think about it to other when it happens to other people or outside your community. Mm-hmm. But once it hits home, dude, you're like, damn. I got passed away at just 19 years old, bro. It sucks. And I, yeah, actually, what's it? Um, one of my close buddies, his girlfriend's older brother just passed recently. And... Uh, he was actually really cool. He had let me like kick it at his house quite a few times because mm-hmm. they lived over there with him for a little while in San Jose, yeah. and I would drive out there and we'd just hang out like sometimes for a few days, sometimes for a night, and just fucking smoke, chill, just <laughs> fucking do whatever. And it yeah. was just cool. He uh-huh. was such a cool dude, and like that he made music out there. He's a producer, and like he was starting to make waves right before he passed, and it was just. It's just Actually, nuts to sad, see, bro. Because, like, as you said, like they're Unex- gone so fucking early. So sometimes. early, bro. Like before, like I just saw him like three months ago. I do that Target. I want to say he was like twenty five or something damn. like that. That sucks, dude. And that's why, like, after hearing him pass away, bro, I'm just like, damn, life is short, dude. Like, yeah. it just happens out of nowhere. Yeah, and that's even sucks. more reason why you gotta handle your shit. Exactly, dude. And make sure you can live the good life for as long as that's possible. Another thing that made me like thing about life more was like a couple of days ago i don't know if you heard of this but a raiders football player uh for the raiders you know yeah. he killed someone bro he Wait, got he got what? in a car accident dude i guess he was drinking and driving he was going like at 160 miles per hour oh no i heard about a football yeah. player doing that yeah I mean, he was yeah a raiders player yeah he was H- Henry Ruggs, fuck? dude it was so sad dude yo oh yeah crazy I mean, shit like that happens all the fucking yeah. time. Yeah, it's just like, crazy. Like, on, man, I know. Like, it sucks because he, yeah, he killed someone. Um, he's only like this is only second year of, of NFL, so uh, he's kind of like a rookie. Yeah, and you pretty much threw your whole still. life away, you yeah. know, and your career. Like, you're done, dude. Away. That's it. And the next day, the Raiders released him, you know, because yeah. obviously all of his all the opportunities that were waiting for him. Yeah, and he was like getting good, bro. I'm like, damn, this guy's gonna have a good year. Man, one bad decision, bro. Like, I mean, we, I know we all make mistakes, dude, but when, as, a, like, an NFL player, as, like, a model to people, you know? Yeah. Inspiration to people, and, like, you have an important career. Right. Like, doing that is just like, damn, dude, like, how did you not think? Well, like, just for, it's such a lucrative career. Yeah. Because there are so many people that work jobs, and, I mean, yeah. like, fucking, what, like, managers at Shoe Palace, mm. yeah. for example. Yeah. They don't make that much money compared to a football player, mm. or even maybe, like, a construction worker. For real, yeah. But, like, it's just, I mean, at the same time, or, yeah, at the same time, it's just like, uh, because they have those opportunities, football yeah. players, like, exactly. they should treat their exactly, yeah. shit with more Yeah, I know like, what you're yeah, exactly, saying. Yeah. Like, they should treat their opportunities with more respect. Yeah, that way. like, dude, you make millions, dude, and you can't even, like, call an Uber. But I think it was an ego thing because mm-hmm. he had his Corvette. Yeah. So people just want, you know, as an NFL player that's yeah. a 23, 23 year old, he's probably like, I just I want to show this off. Right. But the thing is, he's, like, going hella fast that like, he killed someone, you know? And the Doesn't thing is, attention. he hit the car, he hit the rear end of a car mm-hmm. at 156 miles per hour. 
And then I guess once he hit, bro, the other car was already on flames. So the girl pretty much was burned alive, dude. Like burned to death. Whoa. And yo. not just her, her dog was with her. That made that made it hella oh, sad, dude. Oh my god. For real. And there was a video going uh, uh, like around too, like when the car's on flames. Yeah. And the guy's just on the street, like he's on, sit, obviously sitting down because he's intoxicated. He's sitting down on the sidewalk and the car is just on flames. Like, damn, dude, not just you ruin your career, but you took someone's out life away, dude. Mm-hmm. Like, some girl that has no, like, had no part of your bad decision, you know? Mm-hmm. So that should make it more sad. That's why, like, last, the past week and a half or past two weeks, I've been, like, really thinking about life, you know? Like, enjoying the moment. Because if you like, next time, next time, then shit, like, it's, it's going to, like, be a way. Next like, time gonna, somebody decides to drink and drive. For real. It might be you they hit when you're walking across the street. Exactly. Or, like, my family member. Or it happens to my mom. Right. Or my sister, right? Or just or somebody or, you or love. A, or a friend, yeah. Or someone you know. You're going to be like, damn. He had nothing to do with it. He's just minding his own, you know, business. Right. Thing. Moving on with her or his day. And that shit happens because somebody was like, nah, I want to show off. Or, oh, I'm not going to call Uber. I I mean, I mean, I know we all make mistakes, but if you're like two times over the legal limit, it's like, yo, you know? Yeah. Was, I think it was like twice over. You know, instead of point eight, I think it was a point one six two. At that That's point, double. You That's why it makes the charges worse, you know? Mm. Mm. You could face up to 20 years or to life. Yeah, yeah. That sucks, dude. Like, at a 20, 30, 30, I mean, you know, as a young age, as teenagers, we like to. Rebel and like, right? We like to party. We like yeah, to yeah. We ca- we kind of crazy, but that like what he did is like another level. Cause first of all, he's a role model now. Yeah. And he's an adult, you know, and and just like twice over the limit is too far, you know. Yeah. I was like, dude, you're, you knew it, you knew you couldn't drive, you know, cause you were at one your point one six eight. Yeah. It's always easy to say that standing on the high horse, you know. I yeah. Mean, pe- there there are so many people that that say exactly what you say, mm-hmm. but turn around and do that shit. Exactly. Yeah. Maybe not go one fifty six. Yeah, yeah, no, no. But they but still still be drinking and driving exactly, like exactly. Yeah. Like, uh, I mean, and that's just kind of the world we live in. It's just yeah. Take what you can get. Yeah. Enjoy so, what you can. Exactly. And don't fucking, drink and drive, man. It's not worth yeah, don't it. Don't drink and drive. That's yeah, right. It's like not even worth it, dude. Just like sleep over there at the person's house, you know? Mm-hmm. Or I call someone. Fucking sleep in the car. Like my dad. Sleep in the fucking exactly, car. Dude. Even my dad said, dude, if you're ever drunk or something and don't feel and don't like want to drive because you feel somewhat like I'm not, I can't. Yeah. Like, don't be like pressured or don't be like, oh, I have to. Yeah. Stay where you're at and no matter how far I am, like, just call me mm. and I'll pick you up. Okay, I'd rather, you know, drive all the way there than you, like, get an accident or kill someone else or, right. or shit happens to you. Yourself. Yeah, exactly. So I always remember that, you know? It's, yeah. Like, I always tell people, too, like, hey, if you need DD, let me know, you know? Because For it's I, I'd rather, like, you know, drive for, to you mm-hmm. and bring you back with your drunk ass and then yeah. you getting hurt or somebody else getting killed, you know? Yeah, yeah, Like, yeah. that's not even worth it, you know? Right, right. Yeah. Some people was like, "No, nah, I'm not gonna call Uber because it's expensive, or whatever." Like, dude, it's so worth it because if something happens to you or like to someone else, like that's worse than you paying, <laughs> you know, an Uber ticket or, or like. I this? mean, what? Maybe twenty, thirty bucks yeah. max to get you to where you need to go. Exactly. Unless you're like across the fucking mm. state or something. Exactly. Or, like yeah, you, yeah. you need to go. Yeah. Like between town or like to mm. like a different city or something mm. like that, right? It might right. be a little more expensive, but even then, yeah. that's still cheaper than a fucking ticket. Yeah. And it's also cheaper than uh, yeah. getting your car impounded or is going this, to fucking jail. It's just a better choice than going to jail or killing someone else. Right. I was just like, man, going to jail and killing someone else, I was like, dude, you're facing time. Because, mm-hmm. I mean, for some, like they'll just get like uh, a yeah. ticket, you know? Yeah, like people in the... Like, like this guy, this Raiders um, receiver mm-hmm. player, um, it's just like man, what is he? I wonder what's going on in his mind. Like, is he like upset because of a decision, or is he like, yo, I killed someone? Because in the video he was crying when the other car was on flames. Because he was like in the um, sidewalk yeah. sitting down, and he was like crying when the other. Um, oh, dude, you already know what he's thinking. What the fuck did I just do? Gu- yeah, exactly. Because we all, I mean, it's obviously he didn't like 
get on the car to like kill someone intentionally. You right. Know, just of course bad. not. It's just he was intoxicated. He was right. Himself. He was just thinking, hey, I'm gonna show off my car because I got yeah. a cool car and I have money and it'll and be I, fun and I can make it home. You know. Yeah. Like, you're I feel like I'm fine. Yeah, you know. Well, I can do it. I'll yeah, be fine. Exactly. I'm probably, he's probably done it before too. <laughs> that was what, that's what I was thinking too. Like probably not even his first time. He's just been lucky. Yeah. And this time it's like until man, you're not. I just you know I, I could see him just crashing by himself you know to like a <clears throat> post or to like like but just by himself you know mm-hmm. but when you hit someone else dude that's like damn that's worse you know mm. so yeah you get in trouble if you hurt yourself cause obviously you're drunk driving you know but killing someone's like dude that's a whole different charge you know that's a felony yeah killing someone yeah. and then their dog it's manslaughter and they were both um burnt to death that's like the worst way to die that's one of the yeah. That actually is one of the most painful. Yeah, the to big die. the video you can just see like I'm like damn, there's a person in that car getting burned alive. Obviously, you can't see because of the flames. Oh yeah. And the dog is like damn. But dude. you just know. That's you like a know. shitty thing to like think about, you know. Yeah. But yeah, rip, um, rip to everybody, you know. That yeah. It's not here with us today. That's why it's really like blessing. Um, really, I'm really thankful that every, like the next morning when I wake up, I'm always like happy. Because, like, hey, I'm breathing, you know? Some people are not breathing right now, you know? And wish they could breathe. Some people just passed away too young, man. Mm. So rest in peace of Beezer. Uh, take care of your family down here, bro. And hopefully you didn't get up there, man. But, yeah, dude, it was so sad, dude, when I found out about him, dude. I was like, damn. Like, he was in coma. Yeah. And this shit just sucks, dude. Whoa. My friend, Wait, dude. Like, stuck in the hospital. Yeah. Um. Dying just slowly. Just like... Not, like, it was not getting better pretty much. Yeah, know? yeah. So. You know, I thought he was going to make it, you know? Because, mm-hmm. like, I was praying. And was right. just, it's already been, like, a week since he's in coma, so, uh, you know? You but, really like, thought he was going to pull through. Yeah, because, you know, he was already, he already been there for a while. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, I think he's going to be good. But shit, shit happens for a reason, though, bro. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I got to be careful. Sewer. For real, dude. Yeah, he's, he's a good person. I even have, like, I remember one time me and him and my friend Brian, we went to the Grubhub. Mm. Modesto and we were like taking flicks and we were smoking and joining together we are just having a good time you know just walking around downtown just taking pictures of each other and we are just you know hitting and I remember I was hella high mm. but I remember that day we were just you know eating tacos and just talking about I was vlogging too mm-hmm. and yeah man so yeah we you know we spent a couple good times together for sure bro that's awesome yeah I mean it's, it's just it, like it's especially when you when you can't see them again yeah. it makes you reflect on big time the, yeah for sure yeah. every moment really good and bad yeah once i heard like he passed away dude i just got like a flashback of everything mm-hmm. like together in pieces you know and like yeah. you can't even control that it's just your mind or your heart you know working yeah. together yeah no actually <laughs> um one of the first times i hung out at um sue's house that that guy that i was telling you about yeah um he or what's it? Um, me and my buddies, or me, and my my homie and his girlfriend, like we we're all yeah. like hella cool with each other, and we were just like, you know what? Let's do some shrooms. That'd be fun. <laughs> so we all ended up, or we had already been like drinking and smoking, right. and I was like, we, and then we ended up getting some shrooms, mm-hmm. and um, I just I hadn't thought about it, but this yeah. was the first time I'd ever like ate shrooms with like liquor in my stomach. <laughs> It was not a good idea. That sounds. Nasty. I ended up throwing up and getting sounds, all fucking sick and shit. Uh, but like, <laughs> it was all because like we all decided to do shrooms that yeah. night there, and for a while everything was cool. We went on a walk. We were all feeling great, right. and then we came back, and uh, I just I started feeling a little funny in my tummy, and I didn't know why. Uh, I, I couldn't like pinpoint it, mm-hmm. and then it was just like, yo, you gotta go now. Barf time. Go, hit, fuck, hit the bathroom. Yeah. And, yep. That's right. But I ended up like. I, I, I haven't done shrooms yet, bro. Be careful, man. I know. People told me that. Like, yo, yeah. Like, it's start like, slow, for real. Start it's slow. A hit and miss. Cause I mean, it's a. Uh, I mean, I didn't, and I kind of wish I did, because yeah. then I started like trying to chase like that crazy high that I got yeah. the first time. Yeah, that yeah, was yeah. like, oh, yo, like or. Exactly. I had this like super cool healing like out of body experience yeah. one of the first times I did or the second time I did shrooms ever mm-hmm. and it was because like the first time I didn't do as much and it was kind of like a detoxification experience experience yeah. for me it was more like just like 
thinking about some shitty things I, I had done and just like mm-hmm. making sure like just like moral checking yeah just checking my, myself you know and then the second time I took a lot and it was just like yo dude don't be depressed you're a fucking cool dude you gotta stop being like so sad all the time quit it yeah. And that's kind of like the basic message I got out of that. And then after that, every trip, I would try and get a message or like take something out yeah. of it. And now I'm just, it's just kind of like, you don't need shrooms. Stop taking shrooms. <laughs> you're, you're fucking stupid. You don't, but, you don't need to fry your brain. Well, would you ever try um, toad? Um, psychedelic? Oh, I don't know. I don't know if you heard about it. I but have. I've bi- seen people do it. In Mexico, I've seen videos. They yeah. lick it. But instead of licking it, they had like the, the actual like skin poison, or whatever the, mm-hmm. the high, mm-hmm. and then you just smoke it, you know. Yeah. They some people, up, yeah. yeah. Some people Mexico, smoke it. You yeah. can lick it, and you can also prick it in your skin. Damn, as well. bro. Yeah, yeah. I, I heard. Saw, I haven't heard about the prick one. Um, I think it was what Hamilton's Pharmacopoeia uh-huh. on Hulu. Yeah. It was like a show by Viceland, mm. and uh, it was it's actually a really really good show about psychedelics, yeah. all For types, real. all all across the world. Yeah. And um, it's actually pretty educational, too. But <laughs> the thing about it is he, he goes in and tries some of these, like, stranger psychedelics. Yeah. This Hamilton guy. And um, he tries the toad. Yeah. And he did it via, like, like pricking the his skin. Yeah. It was weird. But they, they took it, like, they took some of, like, the oil, I'm pretty sure, yeah. or whatever that the serum was off the skin yeah. like, um, that they secrete them toads. Yeah. And I think they like they mix it up somehow or like did I don't I don't really remember how they like um get it on you or fixed it but yeah. they fix it to a needle mm. and then just keep doing that and then put some more and then do some more and then you get high like that and then, yeah yeah it just like gets into your skin? blood it, Shit. and it's just like and then you yeah I feel like it, I feel like it would hurt like po- just keep poking no I mean it's like tattoo yeah I hate tattoos I got one and I'm just like fuck yeah I want to get a ton. You seen mine, right? No. Really? The panda? I don't think so. The heart? Shit. I have a gene right now, but I have to I'll show you in a bit. Oh, but it's, it's on it's the a, knee? It's a heart. Yeah, it's like above the knee. It's a heart. There's a panda laying on it. Oh, what the fuck? He has That's go- cool. He has ghost face. Um, face. Oh. Like the guy from Scream? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. He has yeah. Like that whole look. Oh. I told her to make a panda because yeah. it's black and white. Let me show you a picture, bro. Yeah, just show me. Show me. Yeah, that shit's cool. Sounds yeah. cool. <laughs> my parents hated it, dude. My Especially my dad. He was so funny. He was cool with it the next day, but it was a shock to them, you know? Mm-hmm. And they're like, what the fuck? Of all the tattoos you get. Yeah. And they're like... My parents wouldn't care if I get tattoos. I know where the right the right places to get no, them. No, my dad doesn't care, but really he just didn't like the decision, you know? Like, the choice. Oh. And at first of all, he was he was more butthurt more than, like, than anything. Because mm-hmm. he wanted to have the, his first tattoo and my first tattoo together. Oh. Yeah, oh. yeah, like, like matching tattoos. No, not matching. Just like get like, together, like have an experience. You know? Okay. Yeah. Also, Share my that sister, experience. like all three of us, mm-hmm. we go and get whatever we want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be cool. I feel like that'd be nice. And that'd be really fun, dude. That'd be I fun. Do but that. I feel bad now because he was kind of like it made me feel guilty. Oh. But I, I just got it just because. Yeah. But I'd still swallow him up. Get one. I get. I'll get another one. Yeah. Yeah. Once he um. But, uh, I mean, Once this first one. is what it is. You did what you want, and <laughs> you're happy with it. For real. Let me find... Um, it's kind of something I've been trying to figure out how to be more comfortable with, is, like, doing what I want, that, even though if, like, my parents are, like, a not too... Or, or in general. Accepting yeah. with it, yeah. you know? Do you yeah. think your parents would be cool with a tattoo on you? Oh, yeah, for sure. Oh, they're really, like... Yeah. That you know, yeah. really cool? Yeah. I just can't get them, like, too... Exposed, you know, like I can't in like the face or no face tats yeah. ever, no hand tats ever. <laughs> no, yeah, exactly. But I mean, maybe if I get enough tats of all, all of my body that are like can yeah. be covered up with a short sleeve shirt and shorts, yeah, like mine I right here. That's why I picked here. I'll start doing tats picked, yeah. on like my, my arms and stuff afterwards. Yeah, but. the only time where you can see my tattoo is when I'm at the beach, you know, because I have like the shorts mm-hmm. and they're kind of like a little high. Mm-hmm. And it's right there, it looks pretty dope. Let's try to look for the picture. Man. <laughs> it's been like already a year and a half since I got it. I think. Yeah, I mean, what? It's already been a year. What was that on those psychedelics? That's right. Yeah, um, yeah. This Hamilton guy took did the needle show? thing, right? right? Yeah, yeah. From that that one show, Hamilton's Pharmacopoeia. Yeah. He uh, tries the toad. Oh, he did. And 
it doesn't look very fun. He like like he liked it. He's funky. <clears throat> No, it was the prick. Mm. It was the prick thing that, that I was trying to... Right, 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 right. Like, they, they, like, got the oil, and I'm pretty sure they just took a needle and, like, yeah. stuck it in the oil, and they just kept pricking his arm. But, um... So I'm pretty that. sure they did it, like, a good five different pricks. Or, like, five... Oh, like, five... Yeah. It just sounds painful versus, like, like a tattoo. Like, this one tattoo right here was kind of, like, a pain in the ass. Because mm. it's just one, just, like, mm, real quick. Oh. And then dip some more. Bam. Yeah. And then, I think... Just to get to the blood. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how... Uh, I forget, like, timing-wise how they did it. But regardless, I'm pretty sure it was around, like, five different little pricks they did. Right. And he ends up, like, throwing up and, like, having this whole... Ooh. Like, he doesn't, like, go through, like, this, like, weird, like, right. psychosis or anything. Like, he's right. not, like, physically moving around crazy. Uh-huh. Yeah. But he is just kind of, like, distraught. Just like, oh, fuck. Oh, what the hell? Was he, like, he got, like, the spins. Oh, yeah. And... That was kind of the video that I seen, too, about the guy doing a toad in Mexico, mm-hmm. in Cancun. Mm-hmm. Uh, he, was, he was having the spins, too. Yeah. He kept spinning, dude, and spinning. And he was, like, pretty much just, like, a little tent, kind of like a indigenous tent, like, straight up. Mm-hmm. And it's pretty, it looks hella spiritual and shit, because there was an instructor there. Yeah. And, you know, pretty much the kind of looked like... There's quite a big Native American community in yeah. New Mexico. Yeah, it was, it was tribal stuff, you know? Yeah. Like, they had, like, it was like those tents... Well, where I guess they're just, not Native American. Yeah, they could just, like, lay just down. Native. Yeah, they're just, like, you know, people from, you know, natives, exactly. Mm-hmm. And um, they had pillows everywhere and blankets. It was kind of like a tent tent, but like a Native tent, you know? Yeah. yeah but it was cool because there was no chairs. There was, like, no modern stuff in there. Yeah. It's just, like, pillows and blankets everywhere. The instructor is dressed like in a robe, mm-hmm. you know, like a white robe. Mm-hmm. Looks hell spiritual and kind of like funky, you know. Yeah. So I remember this guy. He had like the you know the the pipe, mm-hmm. and he gave it to this one guy. This one guy, he wasn't like on a spiritual adventure, you know. Mm-hmm. So he looked hella hippie because he has long hair. He had like a like, normal beard. Yeah. He was like kind of like he was you know skinny. Yeah. With a tat- couple tattoos, and you could tell he's a spiritual, you know, because he was just he's been doing psychedelics and stuff, and he hasn't tried toad. So he finally did it that day, bro. And the, the first, like, hit, dude, mm-hmm. like, he was, like, a big old hit. Yeah. He was just, just like, and he, like, just, like, breathe in. And the guy started coughing. Uh, uh, and I don't know what he did. He, like, he howled, like, slouch, bro, like, heavy. Ooh. And he was, like, spinning. Yeah. You know, slouching, dude. He was just, like, you know, and the instructor was there kind of just, like, making sure he won't hit his head. Or, yeah. Like, or hurt himself, you know? Yeah. Because pretty much you just, like, start... <laughs> you're trying to trip him out, yeah. dude. Yeah, yeah. And I remember the guy, he's having spins. He was, like, talking to himself. I think your equilibri- e- equilibrium gets all fucked up. And he was just, what? like... His eyes were closed, and he was, like, sleepwalking, you know? Oh. Straight up crazy. Because I guess the guy... What in the world? One, after, it was, like, a 20-minute trip, you know? And yeah. after, you're, like, you're back to normal. Yeah. Like, it's it's that's DMT. The, that's the thing. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, you have an experience, and then you're, like, back to normal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he was puking and shit, but he was saying, like, he was saying it was the most beautiful shit he ever seen. He said in the beginning, it was like a trip. He said in the beginning, he felt like he was in hell, mm-hmm. but then he, like, got saved by God or whatever. Mm-hmm. It was some weird shit, and, like, he was in heaven and blah, blah, blah. It was crazy shit. That's, dude. what the world? I mean. It was a, the video was lit. Like, I was experienced. So a lot of people, if they, if they already have a strong religious base. Yeah. When they do take psychedelics, mm-hmm. they they it feels it's, like it's a religious experience. Yeah, yeah. That it's actually quite a common thing with um, a lot of things in the past. Like yeah. why, like I, I guess uh, um, art in particular. Yeah. Um, has been influenced because psychedelics. Uh, yeah, even because uh, yeah, the guy was saying some. You said he was saying colors and shapes, like, and they could, like. And there's like, like a, Christian art in particular. Yeah, and there was with like, like stained glass. And the guy said there was a voice like telling him like instructions, mm-hmm. like keep walking. It was weird as shit, dude. I was like, damn. Like, why would they think to make stained glass like that, like that? in different structures and weird shapes that's in the psych- in these big old cathedrals? That's some psychedelic shit, man. Right. I think so too. Right. I, I love. I fuck with those glass paintings too, dude. I mean, they got I church. Like, they look scary, but they look so artful. You know, mm-hmm. like dang. That's pretty dope. Like if I if I have like a mansion, dude, I want to do glass art. And have I would like, definitely have some stained glass in my fucking mansion. Just have for like, sure. Like every couple feet away, just 
Or maybe one issues. big old like stained glass mural somewhere. I would make them like my favorite celebrities and shit. Or my favorite people, I don't know. <laughs> what would you make it like pure religious? Oh no, I, I would like make I would it celebrities. Mm. Or just people I know. I would probably make it different colors. I probably wouldn't put people oh, on you it. Want or maybe like a landscape. Yeah. Oh yeah, because uh, church they also have those like it's just the colors. There's mm-hmm. no person mm-hmm. in it. Because I'm, so yeah, I usually go, there's like a Virgin Mary or Jesus. Yeah, but. since I go to Catholic church, like they have a bunch of those. Mm-hmm. You know? They have. Mm-hmm. I feel like they have more in Catholic churches. Than yeah, yeah, because that's the classical, yeah. like, um, belief system. Yeah, and like the type of look that they have, the type of style. Mm-hmm. That's more like Catholic. Cathedral. Yeah, Catholics make it super colorful and stuff. I think so, because Christians is like just like the normal ones. I just feel like it's white or brown. I don't know. I just get that feeling. Yeah, uh, they're pretty basic, for real. I mean, it's just basically... There's a cross like, and, like, chairs. There's not much art around, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There isn't, yeah. Because I remember I went to a Christian church last week. My friend invited me to, like, his Bible study, right? Oh, yeah. That, it was, like, a Baptist church. And I was just like, this doesn't look like a church. It just has, like, the cross... Yeah, everything else looks like a business building, you know? Yeah. See, I, th- those... They're more business people. Modernized yeah. Christians is and what I And then I, I go like to a say. Catholic church, it's like, it looks cool as fuck because they have statues and they mm-hmm. have paintings and they, it's big and then they have exaggeration of art, you know? Mm-hmm. Which, but it's cool, mm-hmm. though. It, it looks churches, very grandiose. Yeah, exactly. I like... That's what I do like about Catholic churches is... Dude, the, like, if you go to Mexico, dude... The look of them. All the Catholic churches there are, like... They're, like, nice. Yeah. Cause, and plus, they're so old, too, so they're historical, yeah. you know? Like, yeah, yeah this landmarks. church, yeah, like, this church is, like, 300 years old. And, like, when I went to Mexico, every city that we went to, we went to a church there. I still haven't and they're all, they're, <laughs> Dude, we gotta I go. go so bad, we gotta dude. go one day. It's fun. I can drink out there. Yeah. Every Fucking time I go to Mexico, shit out yeah, there. you could drink whenever you go to strip clubs, any type of club, you know? Shit. Serious, dude. It's like being 21 here, you know? Yeah, all right. It just feels weird, bro. Like, I remember last year when I was there, I was just drinking in public, and it felt weird because cops would pass by. Because it, it, oh, you're legal, especially being 19. And mm-hmm. I look older than 19, too. Yeah. So for me, like, they don't mean, like, oh, is that guy 18? Is that guy really 18? Like, nah, we're good. Even yeah. when I was 13, like, they didn't really care. Really? Yeah, dude. What there the There's kids fuck? drinking and driving. What the fuck? Dude, there's, like, 10-year-olds, like, driving straight up, like, in the freeway. Yo. Yeah. Bro, what? And then some of these, there's motorcycles and there's like four people in like a two seater. It's just crazy shit. Dude, Mexico's crazy, dude. What the fuck? And sometimes I'll be like a little girl driving a motorcycle. <laughs> it's like, yeah, you do Mexico is a trip. That is crazy. It's way, Whoa. It's way different here. Yeah. Dude. Over there, they don't give a fuck. No, they don't. They don't. What the hell? I mean, that's a good thing, but also a bad thing because of narcos, you know? Yeah. That <laughs> shit's scary, but it's just a bit. Think she is like an adventure every time I go there, but mm-hmm. I always tell myself either have a good time or get shot up. You know, yeah, <laughs> like yeah. that's kind of how it is. Out I watched there. I watched Narcos Mexico and Netflix and shit made me like spooked out of Mexico. Like every time I go now, I'm always guarded. Yeah, you, know? you should be. Yeah, you, like, it is crazy. Yeah, you pretty much you can't like just hold your phone like like we do here. You gotta uh-huh. be, like safe with it. You know? Yeah, because people will snatch. Yeah. And you can't leave your door unlocked or open. Nope. Like here, it's like, even here, we're more cautious. Mm-hmm. But over there, you got to be, like, extra cautious. Yeah. You know? And at your house, you got to lock everything. And, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah. Because shit happens. Be, I'd get paranoid living in Mexico. I would not want to yeah. live in Mexico. Not me either. Hell no. I like it's to, cool to visit. I, yeah, I like to visit there. Plus, my grandpa's have a ranch over there. So, it's they, we live in a small town, so it's not, like, any really big activity happening. Mm-hmm. You gotta promote these shirts, huh? Oh fuck yeah! I'm gonna promote the fuck hey, out of these yeah. Shirts, for anybody that wants a shirt, because I just I love the different up. colors too, the shrooms and shit. I yeah. mean, it even kind of matches the that's, beanie a little on, bit. That's on the back of the shirt, and the front it's uh, the, uh, the the name, yeah. the end of the world podcast. Yeah, and yeah. doesn't it have the, the little comment there or something like that? What's it's like the... it's like bubble letters. Let me show you. No, but like right next to the the letters, or where is it here? It's like left side right here. Yeah, I think yeah. So yeah, it's right here. Is, right, isn't so. there or is it just the letters right there isn't yeah, there like no, a just little the, just the letters but oh, I also okay. have another option where I think I might put this on the front too okay and the back be like it's like the alternative you know oh like swap it yeah yeah I'm just, but I just have one style for now and once I get more money on it then mm-hmm. I'll make another a second choice you know mm-hmm. this is just for now yeah no dude fucking I, once I, I, I get my it. own debit card bro and then I pretty much have my business so. yep 
because the, the car I have right now, I don't really want to use it until I get my own own, you know? Mm-hmm. I know. I know how it is because I got the same kind of setup with my shit right now. Yeah. Yeah. With my, well, yeah. Have a yeah. Parent. I yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's cool. I, I mean, I have nothing to hide at all, but yeah. obviously when you, do, you want to do your own thing right. and take out what you want, because right. it's my Privacy. dad's money, too, so I can't just, like, take out and be like, oh, yeah, I used it for shirts. Sure. So. Yeah, plus, I mean, it's a I mean, private, the privacy of the whole thing. You want to be able to do your business exactly. by yourself. Yeah, yeah. without, like, without people questioning without having, you. Yeah, exactly, because, I mean, it, I get it. He's good at questioning. He just questions just to, like. Yeah. Make sure I'm not a spender. Yeah, know? he just yeah yeah. I, I understand. Sure. I understand his point. You know. Yeah. Because he's like, oh, why why'd you get this? Or couldn't you just get one? You know, he's, you know this yeah. Kind of question. Yeah, yeah. And with the shirts, it's like, okay, you know, mm-hmm. I control it. All right. Yeah, I, I mean, but yeah, with that, it's just kind of like. Yeah, I understand. I understand his point though. Because uh, as a father, I'd probably be like, hey, why are you spending on this? You know. But also, that's why it's good for them to have their own card. Yeah, I'm just thinking about fucking getting my own shirt now. I'm all excited. <laughs> and you say you want large, right, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, get yourself a guy's shirt, man. Fucking, I mean, Look I might end that. up buying another one later, too. Yeah, for sure, bro. Because, I mean. I'm going to be coming out with more stuff. Like, I want to make a sweater. Okay, then I'll just, I'll get the new shit then. Yeah, I'll yeah, I'll get yeah. me a shirt and some other shit later. Yeah, and I'm trying to make, like, a different, like, different merch, you know? Mm-hmm. Maybe a hat. A beanie. Fuck yes. Beanie I'd so cop that boat. Like, just the logo of a beanie. Yep. I'll Give be, me a little fucking hey, dad hat. I got you, bro. I got you. I'll rock the I'll be so fuck lit. out of that. Every day. That's one of those. If it's just black with a logo, yeah, fuck it. Let's go. That'd be so lit, huh? Even with, or like just the lettering or even like a hat with just the yeah, thing on I gotta it. give a shout out to the designer of this, Ava. Yeah. She's my family friend, dude. And I got a lot of love for her. Fucking daughter. love your work, Ava. Hey, dude. Like, I always tell people, because people think I designed it. Like, I came up with the idea, but she's the one that did the hard work. They designed it, you know? Yeah. And, like, I told you Outsourced. earlier. Outsourced. Like, I told you the, earlier that the, the first guy she showed me, like, that's it. Mm-hmm. And she was like, wait, let me show you the other one, you know? Because you might like them. I'm like, nah, I don't. Cause nah, Because nah. I won't change my mind. Yeah. You know? And this is it right here. To this, day, this is perfect. I don't, to this day, I don't doubt my choice, you know? I think this is perfect right mm-hmm. here. Yeah, dude. And I, and I told her if she could take out the words out because at the beginning of the words were no, on the top. words were like on top of yeah it. yeah and that's dope for like a for like the internet and stuff but mm-hmm. like for shirts it'll be yeah. more dope if for i merch. separate them you know yep and she helped me on that too i'm like you're a genius. let's fucking go dude that's i'm a what's personal up. designer dude. that's what's up and plus i could change up the design maybe i don't know maybe later but like that, maybe touch it up or something if yeah you like want. add a different color or add a thing yeah or make it special you know yeah 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 that'll be lit dude i'm excited I'm excited for you, dude. For real. I'm, I'm, try, like, I'm trying to make this a bigger thing, too. I've been slacking because of, like, school. Yeah. And then I have, like, and then going man. back with mom and dad, you know, 50% each. It's just, like, it's oh, hard to be consistent, you know? It's like yeah. you're going back with mom and dad, and you have your thing at one place, like, ah, I can't this week because my dad yeah. is this weekend. Or, or vice versa, you know? Mm. So I'm trying to make it more of a habit. When, once I'm here with my mom, I'll do it. And I'm not going to be like, yo, next time, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you're still getting it done. We still get podcasts done. We're still getting podcasts, baby. This is like my episode, what, 12, 13? I don't even know what episode <laughs> number is this. But it's like in the teens, you know? It's uh-huh. in the tens areas. I'm still trying to find this design, bro. I'm sorry. Man. But yeah, we got to hit Mexico, so tell mom, bro. Fuck yeah. I'll that actually says that uh, Mexico's go. Mario's got us. Plus, my mom would even probably want to come too and Tell help me out with like, money and shit. Anything, she, bro. She'd be I'll, so down. That'd be so fun, huh? Yeah, because I don't even know if she's like hung out in Mexico like that. I don't yeah, think so. I don't, I don't think so either. Mexico, where we go, where we going is fine, but obviously you can't just like yeah. go you random. Just, you you can't have to just go. go anywhere. Yeah, exactly. You gotta be in the safe zone, homie. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. You gotta be in the green zone. Yeah, Once you're there are the, some danger zones. So sure. <laughs> <laughs> if you end up at the wrong side of town, it's not gonna be good. Mexico is literally the type of place that is filled with uh, wrong place, wrong time scenarios. Yeah, it is. You can get yourself mixed even up in some tourist, shit. Yeah, the logo. Yes. That, that's in front of the shirt. So it's just black, and then you have the letters oh, here. So good. And the good. back is here. So good. And the back is, I mean, it's obviously like half a big chunk of it mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so it looks dope like all, all around the yeah, back right yeah. there like a santa cruz dot exactly that's where i got the idea from oh shit yeah fuck yeah i got the, the thing because first i actually want to put this on the front which probably would be cool too 
And then having the back tip, like the same logo on the back and the front, it's like I don't know, I don't fuck with it. I feel like if you were to put this on the front, you would have to do something yeah. more with the back. Yeah. You know? Like if you were exactly. to do like the the little chest piece. Yeah. On on like the like over the heart, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Exactly. Um, I feel like you if you you like have to do like the lettering and some other yeah. shit. Like, Definitely. Yeah. Because you'd have to really fill that shit up. Yeah, because if it's the same thing front and back, it's kind of like you gotta do more with one side. Right. Yeah. So that's the plan, bro. But, this is nice as fuck. I mean, that's all in the in just, I just ideas like, I like for the, now. Yeah, Not I, even written down. I just down. like the motion, bro. Look at that. I know, dude. Fucking, it looks so good. The asteroid coming and you're just smoking a joint. Some people didn't haven't noticed about the joint thing. Really? Yeah, I don't know about you. Like even me, like I think I noticed it like the third day when I already had it. Really? Design. Like, two days later, I was like, whoa, what? That's a Actually, joint? Actually, wait, no, I think I was, I was, that was the same thing for me, too, because when I first saw it, I was just kind of like, oh, yo, dinosaur, comet, mushroom, yeah. that's cool. Oh, wait, is that a joint? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and my, my, my parents would probably don't even know my logo. They probably <laughs> haven't even noticed the joint, huh? Yeah. Like, oh, it's the dinosaur. Even then, they know you smoke. Yeah, shit. I do. Who gives a shit? And the asteroid coming. They probably yeah. don't know the Even asteroid. then, you're, you're going to smoke when you get older, or as you get older. They think it's a sun. Nah, Mom, you, my parents are, you know, they're, they're kind of cool, <laughs> They're kind of like, don't notice things, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. they, you know, like you didn't get that, or you didn't see that, or you forgot? Oh my god, I know too many people that have parents like that, and that, that shit I just don't understand. My both parents are like that, dude. Because my parents aren't at all. My mom they're more. They're quick. My mom more. My dad's like quicker than my mom, but my dad, at times, you know, I see it, like, go through him, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, he doesn't even see it. Mm-hmm. He probably doesn't know about the joint. <laughs> he probably would deny that too he would deny that he'd be like I did see it <laughs> he's like I didn't, de- oh, I didn't deny shit. it but I like the mushrooms dude yeah I like it like it just it fucks with us. this is perfect mm-hmm. and I got people already asking me like I want a shirt I want a shirt I got like 15 people are asking me you fucking get them those, shirts get people, them fucking sales in someone bro. asked me is this like legit is this a real like is there a real thing I'm like yeah why He's like, dude, that shit, like, hella dope. Like, that's actually, like, you can't, you, like, you got that? I'm like, yeah. And I'm like, there was a real shirt. And she's like, dude, I want one. And I'm like, hey, got you. So people don't even believe they think it's, like, this is from an actual store. You know? You know, like, an actual, like, no. That's from an actual store. It looks like it's a real legit thing. Yeah. Like, it looks like yeah. a brand. Looks like, some, like somebody de- designed it. Yeah, because I'm like, you know some custom shirts? You could tell it's custom. Yeah. Like, you could tell, but... According to people, my shirt looks like it's from the stores, like it's from big big brands. Because you know the custom shirts, like man, that guy definitely like he wrote, like he yeah. made it. Not made it, but like he, he's only. I mean, especially bit. with the lettering in particular, like yeah. a lot of brands and stuff have yeah. been doing that like block coloring type yeah. of shit. So yeah. I just it, it Probably, just the fucking name, it matches so well too. Name, I feel like the name gave it and the shape of the name, mm-hmm. the bubble the, letters. Yeah, I feel like that gave it a big. Um, inspiration to make it like look legit you know because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. if sure. i feel like it was just a logo people were like ah oh, it's a like custom yeah but the title yeah. makes it more like oh it looks it looks a legit brand and especially the way it was designed it's with a little just yeah. like the minimalistic way you did you it because you see ripoffs too and this is like unique different, yeah you know yeah. different like a unique design for real i mean the format is like santa cruz but the design and the name is unique you know mm-hmm. so yeah dude trying this is what i'm trying to do full time Fuck yeah. I, I'm trying to get more Keep females, dude. Have you got any females trying to be on the podcast? I feel like Shit, I have I no know. female audience, dude. They're all dudes. Well, yeah, that's just kind of how it's going to be. But the thing is, if I feel like if I get a lady, I feel like it'll be like, oh, more girls will watch it. Maybe. Because I, I, mean, I remember my original podcast, like the old one that I did, The yeah. Guzman's World, I did like four episodes. I did it with uh, a friend named Valerie. And uh, that that episode got more girl views. I was looking at the stats, it was more like females. Because it was a wrestler chick, mm-hmm. inspiration of feminism, you know. So I'm trying to get a girl in here, and there's like two girls that I already kind of like said maybe, but they just slack a lot. So. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, if you got, if you know any, if anybody, any females to do a podcast, I don't. Just, no, nah, but I'm just saying anybody in, out there, yeah, just feel free, you know. Yeah, I mean, for real, honestly. Yeah, I, I know a couple of girls, but I just feel like it's weird because I don't really talk to them mm-hmm. in the general. Like, I don't talk and to them. Just, and then just ask then, them. Yeah. Like, hey, well, come on my podcast. Yeah. The dude could be like, what the fuck, pervert? <laughs> yeah, right, right. <laughs> you just trying to get in my pants? Get the fuck you out of here. You know girls, no. They, I feel like if it was like 10 years ago, 5 years ago, it would be cool. 
But now girls go crazy, dude. They'd be like, oh, are you tr- trying to get at me? I'm like, no, I'm just trying to do a podcast <laughs> with you. I just feel like they would have, they like, oh, you're hitting up on me? I'm like, what? No. I don't even like you. Like, I was trying to get a porn star up in here. And, <laughs> and she said yes first, so then she's like, I'm in Vegas doing your scene. I was like, <laughs> oh, shit. That would be fucking crazy. That though. would, bro. That, that would be nuts. Views, <laughs> because my own, my own gave me good views. Uh-huh. And the last one that we did, it gave me 2K views. 2K is cool, you know? Wait, me and Tyler? No. Or uh, am me, I... me and my own. Okay. We got 2K views in that video. And I'm just like, man, if that did 2K, bro, the one with the porn star would do like triple that. Dude. Yeah, probably. <laughs> I mean, she sex like, sells, man. Dude, yeah, I mean, I, don't, I would be asking her, bro, how did, like, how did your parents react? <laughs> I would ask her some questions, dude, because she's pretty open. So Okay. So, yeah. I mean, she probably gets those questions a lot, though. You got to ask, like, the No, I, I got to ask. You got to ask the juicy I got, shit. I, I got to ask, like, the secret, confidential, like, interviews, bro. Like, hey, like, how much do they pay you? <laughs> or, like, hey, did they pay for your stuff, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know, because I just want to ask you so many questions. Like, how do you feel? Do you feel sick? Yeah, you know? <laughs> so disgusting. Oh, bro. She was a good friend of mine, too, in high school. Oh, shit. So that'll be more personal, you know? Like, oh, like, that's cool. You know? Well, I mean, yeah, now she's just a porn star. And she would ask me, <laughs> did you think of me being a porn star five years ago? I'll be like, nah, I thought you... Oh, uh, what? <laughs> I mean, nobody thinks that of somebody was, I, they know in high school, I thought she was going to be like an English... Actually, never mind. They probably think that. Because she was school. a writer, bro. She was a writer. So oh. I, thought, I thought she was going to be like an English teacher. Yeah. She had that vibe. Yeah. Like, she was probably like... doing school. She was a little sexual all the time, but mm-hmm. like with the teacher vibe, you know? It was weird. Okay. She would be like that girl where she would like to read and she writes a lot of like poems story she was writing a book i was like bro this girl's gonna be an english teacher Damn. or or she's gonna be a best-selling writer dude author she could be like the next harry potter author i don't know for real and then i don't know i'm like she's like hey check my only fans out and then oh she's like God. hey it's my first scene in vegas oh no and it's a it's casting couch <laughs> oh of course it is she did one of those i'm like no katie she had uh, me that. Dude. I was like, that's not you, bro. Ah. I texted her, hey, bro, hop on my podcast. And then she unfollowed me. I was like, damn. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> For no reason, bro. Shit. I was going to pay her, dude. Because obviously <laughs> money wins it. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, she'd be in porn sites to make money. Oh, man. That'd be funny. Does she have reserve her time? Like, you, like, pay her like she's doing porn and it's just, just a podcast? She did real porn, like, legit porn for, like, two months already or one month. Oh. Which I guess last week she was like, I quit. Well, I mean, yeah. It, it can get pretty fucked up and toxic. Yeah. What I've heard. I feel like she realized, like, it's a controlling thing. And it's like a sex ring, pretty much. Yeah, basically. The industry, they sell you and then they pay you to have sex and then they pay you. Yeah. I feel like she got grossed out. Yeah. Cause I know who she, I know how she is. She's a really shy girl. She quit. Oy. Rip her career, but <laughs> Yeah, I mean honestly it's better for her emotionally anyways. There I are a lot like, of yeah. like porn stars that like really just don't Like me and Khalifa they did for like a year and then they're like I yeah. fuck that shit. They that, say, they say because it was toxic. And, and then was what was the one bitch? August uh, Ames. Ames. August Ames, yeah. She killed herself. For real. It's pain without the S. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I ripped to all those porn stars. That's why it's good. K got out of the black hole. <laughs> you see where I'm going? <laughs> yeah. I'm such a good comedian, bro. I always want to open. Oh my always, god! I always wanted to do a stand up. Do it, dude. Write some shit down. I feel like I could, bro. I'm pretty funny. Really, most comics they like write write their jokes down. Yeah. And, like start doing that. That, I mean, I have dark humor though, bro. I might get canceled. No, nah, you're you're probably fine. But I've been canceled before because of this podcast. No way. They said I'm sexist and that I talk shit on girls. What? I don't, right? What? When? They hate me already, dude. Oh, I don't even. Okay. Some of them are saying that I'm a liberal. Some of them are like, oh, you're too conservative. You're a Trumpy. And some well, are like, oh, you love Biden. And well, you can't worry about motherfuckers' opinions, especially that political <laughs> shit. Because yeah. I mean, as soon as people are all like, "Oh, you fucking you you suck Biden's dick," or "No, you suck Trump's dick," that's what they say about me, bro. Fucking. They say I play both roles. I'm just like I'm just a peacemaker. It's okay to play devil's advocate, dude. I do that shit all the time. And regardless, 
It's like, why would that shit even matter to us right now in the moment while we're talking about it anyways? Exactly. It's okay to um, uphold some certain beliefs, and it's okay to have an opinion, but to keep forcing somebody to believe a certain thing just because you don't like what they think <coughs> is oppression. <coughs> like, people don't under... Like, I feel like we aren't under... Or, I just... As a <coughs> species, we've forgotten the fact that like, what we're doing here politically is just, we are oppressing each other. Yeah. Nobody is actually getting any real conversating done politically. So, so I shouldn't be canceled, huh? No, you shouldn't be canceled. I don't know the cancel, cancel culture is after me, bro. Fucking, fuck cancel culture. <laughs> I free my boy Dave Chappelle. For real. Free the homie Dave Chappelle. He's a fucking G. He, he gets Love that motherfucker. You can't take L's, bro. You can't kill the man. You only make him more powerful, and he always and he always wins. Especially somebody that fucking dope. Dave like, Chappelle, he, that's the one of the guys I want to like, like do a stand up with, you know? That I or mean, do a podcast. I mean, I'm podcast. Yeah, Imagine I was gonna say to stand Chappelle, up. That can't happen. Like, be, he's he, too good. He'll be just smoking a cigarette, and while I'm like smoking, <laughs> he's having a good time, you know? Bullshit. And I'll be like, how'd you how'd you become like this, man? How how'd you feel about the cancel culture? You know? Well, I mean, listening to his stand-ups, you already know all that shit. He kept saying he admires them, and then they're like, "Oh, they, he hates us." I'm like, he he just said that he likes you guys. Well, it's just crazy, bro. They yeah, twist. They I, don't I, even watch the whole. They don't even watch the special. Of course it's, not. They just see like the clips that he said without the context. Yeah. And that's why he's getting canceled. I mean, he's not getting canceled, but people are trying to. You know. People are yeah trying to get on him for it, but I mean, he cannot. Like, he cannot be killed. The but. truth will come out eventually. Yeah. That's the thing about cancel culture is whatever actually happens, like yeah. the truth comes out. Doesn't matter what allegations are. I feel, spread. I feel bad for Joe Rogan too, bro. Oh, what happened to him? They try to cancel him too for being Dave Chappelle's friend. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Dude. What? Cancel culture is that bad? If you're friends with. That is so dumb. If you like Kanye, you can't cancel or you know just. I mean. Kanye's a bit nuts, but like he's crazy. But being friends with Dave Chappelle does not make you bad, right? And because he's you can like Dave Chappelle and still be a cool person. It's because Joe Rogan called out on CNN and was like, "You guys are fake news," and everybody's like, "Cancel him for calling CNN fake news." Oh, I'm like everybody has their own opinion. Yeah, you know, I could say Fox News sucks, and then I'd be like, "I'll cancel you." Yeah, because I didn't agree with what they said. Well, and that's just a certain community as well. It's yeah. just like it's just yeah. social boycotting. Yeah. That's all this is. These can this cancel shit. Yeah. So free my boy Dave Chappelle. Free my boy Joe Rogan. Yep. Free my um, my boy J.K. Rowling. Oh Harry Potter shit! Author. She JK got Rowling. she got canceled, bro. Yeah, I know that. Oh my god. Free that them. shit's so dumb, dude. I'm uh, not getting canceled, bro. They cannot take me down, man. No, nah, you're fine. <laughs> you're fine. But yeah, they they I, I love my haters, you know. Yeah, haters are your motivators, right? All the girls I talk to, they're all my haters now. Oh fuck! They hate the game. <laughs> Bitches can't hang. <laughs> <They> can't. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid Dude, fucking. These girls are like so bad, bro. Bitches can't hang. Yeah, bro. I'm so happy I'm single, bro. Fuck this shit. I'm happy. I don't even want to be in a relationship, bro. I'm chilling, doing podcasts. Mm. You know, playing Madden. Doing my own thing, doing podcasts, writing film movies. I'm trying to make movies too, bro. You're writing films now. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, dude. I'm trying to make a, a, a slasher film. Yeah. yeah. I want to make it in this house because this house, like at nighttime, if you go in the front, it has that a- eerie like '80s vibe. Like not '80s '80s, but it's just not modern. It's not like these new futuristic homes, you know. It's like. This house is not Yeah, old it's not like a modernized yet. house. It's, pretty it's much. still it looks, pretty old. It looks, yeah, exactly, yeah. And I just feel like every time I'm in the front, I look at the house and it looks kind of like trippy, you know? I feel like this, this whole street is just weird at night. Mm-hmm. You know, when I like film it, mm-hmm. me terrorizing the street. That would be I fucking make crazy. My own, I want to make my own Michael Myers, my own Scream, my own Chucky. Like, I want to make my own like franchise. Well, you got to do it. I got yeah. You gotta. Uh, I mean, I can see how like. Yeah. You could do that, but. I gotta make one movie. For I can also thing. see how it wouldn't work too. I know. Yeah. Because. <laughs> yeah, but I, I would honestly just just make one. We'll fucking see, start we'll with see, one. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. 
It's gonna be lit. I'm trying to make my own character. Fuck yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be some wild, a long haired dude killing people. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get my inspiration from. That's why I've been watching Zodiac Killer, Richard Ramirez, because I'm trying to like write like trying like write a character based on them. Yeah, kind of like more mysterious. Type. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's just going down the street. And I want to put Modesto on the map. I want to make it like a spooky. That's spooky, that but I want to make it like into a cult film, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Place, you know locations that popular movies were made? Yeah. Like, it's not it's like a historic site. And like, ah, oh, yeah. this is not the real Michael Myers house, blah, blah, blah. Like, that's what I'm trying to do. Oh, about Modesto, you know? Oh, yeah. So everybody's like, oh, I'm, we're passing by Modesto, oh, Modesto. Because if you not, can do a low-budget horror film right, that, it yeah, can be really that's what fucking I'm good. That's what I'm saying. Put it to some film festivals. Put some invest in it. Right, right. That's what I'm trying to do. Invest a little money into it. Yeah. It's going to be a little budget, but I'm, I'm just trying to make it somewhat good, you know? Mm-hmm. So I could sell it, maybe, and then... The big and plus, production. maybe start with a rough draft and yeah. see what you can add on to it or change yeah. up to it. That's what I'm doing. I'm going to make a rough draft on my camera, mm-hmm. my phone. Yeah. And just do a rough draft. And Fucking both, work. dude. Both, yeah. yeah. That'd be lit, huh? Fuck yeah, I would. <laughs> Imagine a low-budget horror film, and it gets, like, a follow- following... Right. In town, in the community. Right. The 209 area. That'd be dope, huh? That'd be so fucking lit. That I would, would love be. to see that. Because <laughs> yeah. I would so f- support that shit. shit. Knowing it's yours, yeah. fucking, I'd, I would share that shit everywhere. I gotta do that. I gotta write, dude. Because I, I have a lot of moves at drafts. So I need to like, actually start one or finish one, you know? Mm. Actually make it something. Because I have a comedy film I want to make, too. Mm. Like, <coughs> I got a couple films, bro. Romantic film. I'm trying to do all that, dude. Damn, okay, okay. Imagine I go from a slasher film into like a romantic film. Mm-hmm. That'd be so funny. Very people are like, dude, what kind of director is this? He does everything. Well, shit, man. I mean, if you ever want any help, bro. Hey, <laughs> I got you, homie. Appreciate that. Yeah. That'd be so fun. Yeah, that's why I'm trying to make this like more. Like, would, I'm trying this like, more like a company thing. Yeah. Like, not just a podcast, but it's a, the end of the world production. Like LLC. Yeah, like a whole. Yeah, exactly. The end of the world company you know mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and it's gonna be all about podcasts and the films and just size stuff oh like a media yeah exactly yeah, yeah exactly That'd like a dope. multimedia company exactly right? yeah and I'm the boss you know yeah <laughs> cause I mean you created the motherfucking shit exactly dude that's how it goes yeah but it's such I don't brother the future's bright you know what I'm saying for real yeah for real. dude you gotta keep it up man yeah dude just keep pushing yeah, Handle your business, we as we were saying, <laughs> bringing it back to the beginning. <coughs> Shit, we gotta do a vlog together too. I would love that. I would love that so much. That'd be fun as fuck, dude. Fucking, you, you gotta let me know. For real, we gotta go like plan something out. Cause the semester is kind of already tanked, so I'm just kind of like, well, what the fuck can I do now? For real, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, bro. I was really working hard at first, but like, fuck, man. After a minute, it's just it just it takes like, all just like yeah. I feel that, man. Caved in on me, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. But, um, oh, yeah. Yeah, no, this next semester is going to be real different, though. I'm not going to be doing <laughs> anything besides school. I'm not. I'm going nowhere. <laughs> I'm legit. It's school and work, and that's <coughs> fucking it. I want to get out of this town. Where are you trying to head? Where are you heading to, bro? After this? Fucking skate park. You want to come with? Where? Oh, yeah. today? Right now. Uh, I'll let you know, bro, because I have to have homework. Okay. Yeah. But, uh, or what's it? But, uh, what do you, but, uh, like, town wise? Yeah, like, town wise. Yeah. I don't even know. I just, I, I just that. need to work more towards uh, being able to leave uh-huh. because I'm still not that close yet. Yeah. Like, I'm pretty sure you're further along than I am <laughs> with getting the fuck out of here. Yeah. I, I only got one more class left. Right. Right. <coughs> one more class. I'm pretty sure I have, like, another two semesters of classes. Really? Like, and probably summer classes. Like, spring and summer? Yeah. Yeah, because pretty much I want to attend at a CSU next August. By next August. Oh, shit. So I'm going to have the semester. This, um, I was planning to uh, have this next semester off. Uh-huh. But if I fail my math class, I might have to do that. Okay. Well, well, like, repeat that class. Mm-hmm. And that'll be my last semester. And I have the summer off. Yeah, but that won't even be that difficult, having the one no, class. No, and pre- I know most of it already. It's just a test fucking up. Mm-hmm. Like, all the homework, I always did 100%, but the two tests, I failed them. And that's, like, that's why I have a 60% in that class. Mm-hmm. It's, so it's fucked, dude. I know. It, it can be I don't real difficult. T- I'm going to be like, can I just take that class over there, honestly? 
<laughs> but I'd rather finish it now. Yeah, might as well. For real, dog. You still got that other semester, so you might as well. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta finish that those classes, dude. Yeah. I know. I'm thinking of switching things are you, up. Are you tra- going to transfer or not? Nah, just going to finish MJC. Oh, I'm definitely transferring out. Yeah? yeah. To a different college? That, yeah, that's the goal. I mean, like, get get a bachelor's somewhere. Yeah, me too. But I just, it's just a matter of being able to transfer out. I'm still not that close yet. Yeah, bachelor's degree in business. That's what I'm trying to do. All right. All yeah, right. I'm trying to open business things. I'm trying to open my own. I know. Dude, I think, I feel like business would be really cool, though. The more I think about it, like, the more I feel like that you, would be you fun. You learn a lot about just, like, money and just business mm-hmm. and how to be a good leader, you know? Yeah, I'm already pretty decent with leadership, so yeah. I've been, like, throughout the years, I've already had different, like, yeah. leadership roles and, okay. like, um, mentors and, and um, uh, <laughs> mentees now, actually. Yeah, it's fucking dope, dude. Yeah, it's been, it's been fun, my high school experience, but, like, yeah. at the same time, college is a bitch and a half. For real. And I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> If I don't get it done. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm not trying to rot in fucking Modesto for the rest of my goddamn life. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. For real, right, bro? Well, yeah, man. But yeah, bro. That's going to be cool. Yeah. You just got to keep doing what we're doing right now. Yeah. And finish it off, right, bro? Yeah. Is there anything else you want to talk about, bro? Before I end this? I mean... Get yourself a shirt. Yeah, get yourself a motherfucking shirt. These uh, things try, are I'm, fucking awesome. I'm trying to make jackets or sweaters so the, the logo's pretty soon, too. Uh, like, I'm I'm going to buy me more, <laughs> probably. I'll probably get me another shirt and <laughs> maybe even, like, a fucking sweater and a hat. Whatever new shit comes out, I'm definitely buying yeah, it because yeah. I just love this logo. Yeah, shout out to Ava. Shout out to fucking Ava. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Yeah, thank you so much. God bless you. You are awesome. Yeah, and free my boy Dave Chappelle and Joe Rogan. That's right. Don't cause them pain. Right. They're good people. And rest in peace and Beezer. Love yeah. you, bro. Have a R.I.P. Sewer. Yeah, so, yeah, bro. Want to end it there? Yeah. That's that, bro. Thank you so, so much, dude. Nah, this was you, amazing. Bro. You got to go to Mexico. Yeah, that's right. We got to go to fucking go Mexico. Mexico. Yeah. You got to tell mom, bro. But, yeah, that's the end of the episode, guys. Everybody have a good day. Love you. Peace. That was good, man.